Right away, here's a quick look at today's venue. I've sped the footage up. But I thought I'd show you just to give you an idea of what I'm dealing with today. And now you know what lies ahead. So here I just decided to let myself roll down and I'm just letting gravity take me down here to give you the idea of the steepness and swiftness of my lair. So I won't really time myself on the way down, but on the way up, because on the way down it would be too risky, I'd be in danger of sliding out trying to uh, get a better time and sliding out could mean hitting a car or a pillar. So on this way up, I did time it after the fact, and it was so close to my personal best that I didn't consider it a personal best. Both shots here, the one on the left and the one on the right, were filmed today. Just different angles. These are my best two attempts on the day. And in the bottom left is the current record I'm trying to beat. I think it just got off to a better start right at the beginning and I held my lead the whole time. That's what I'm seeing. This viewpoint is something a lot of viewers ask for. They'd like to see more of this. I get it. It's like a video game. It's like you can see what's happening. You can see how I'm moving. It's not that reverse looking shot I use quite a bit. So it resembles a little more what skating is to you. I get it. On the way down is the time to play. It's extremely enjoyable to be able to explore lines and curves and sequences without having to propel yourself. It's low impact, I don't get very tired. I might even discover a few things when I'm just chilling. So in this one I'm just trying to be quite curvy. Curvy. Keeping my speed down. You'll see a few of those reconnaissance corners where I half stop and then continue to roll where I'm peaking. And my stops today, there were quite a few where I slammed myself into the wall. You'll see those again in a second. This is one of my faster cornering sequences. And boom. Probably not a good habit to get into. I came in so fast on that last one that I actually had to use my arm to dampen. And then shoulder. Oh yeah, there's these wall hooks I'm using lately. Well, just today. When I let my toe grab the wall a little bit, it actually pivots me around the corner. Or contributes to my pivot around the corner. I can feel it. Sharpening the corner. I'm completely stoked to announce that I have a new sponsor here at BSS, Bill Stoppard Skating. The new sponsor is a company that carries more inline gear than I've ever seen on one site in my entire life. So that means it has to be Inline Warehouse. Inline Warehouse is also sending a pair of skates that I've been thinking about for the last 20 years, but only existed like a year or two ago. It's a skate that I think could be a gateway into something completely different, but with a design that's very well suited to my style of skating. I'm being cryptic on purpose. Mysteries are fun. But yeah, I'm very excited. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this skate when it gets here. But I know that it represents some real changes. So stay tuned for that. That was fun. Thanks for joining me again in my underground lair. I will see you above ground soon.